I've never, I've never done anything else. This is it. Like I never worked in food industry. I never, I never did anything else. Like it never even occurred to me that maybe this wouldn't be something I would do. Like, cause you know, I'll do what I want, you know? Um, and that doesn't really work for everybody. Like sometimes people need to see that optic of, you know, there's somebody else that's doing this or this is a possibility for me. One of the amazing things about having a career in the arts is you get to be a lot of different people. And for me, I get to be a designer, I get to be an artist, I get to be a craftsperson, um, and I get to be an engineer. I get to be all of those different things at different moments on pretty much every single project. And I think of them almost as a menagerie of different people that are inside me that have different perspectives, um, different passions, and they kind of take over depending on what's happening in the process. How I define myself, I usually use the term designer maker um, more than any other because I think that describes, it isn't describing the identity of those different people within me, but it's describing the process I'm engaged in. How I define my furniture is that, that kind of being on the edge of sculpture and design. And it's a funny edge because you can say, oh, it's sculptural, it's just got a dynamic form. But to me, that's not it. To me, it's creating, creating a space with the furniture, creating a sort of stage with the furniture uh, that, that is a psychological experience. That's a really important thing to me in making furniture is making you feel a certain way. And one of the really inspiring things about using functionality to make something that's a sculpture, kind of sculptural experience, is that there's an entire history of interaction. There's, there's a really a script. Say, when you walk up to the lowrider chair, you know it's a chair. I mean, it's not really like a chair you've seen before, but you know it. there's enough markers in the sand for you to know it's a chair, and you know you're supposed to sit in it. So you do, without really hesitating in a lot of ways. So that sort of, uh, that sort of script, I think, offers a, an opportunity for some real sneaky art. I think always my, my access point has been a facility with tools, uh, with materials. I grew up with tools just piled everywhere and, you know, uh, had a chance to to always have an engagement with uh, making and being able to pick up those materials and have a really intimate relationship with them. My partner in crime has been metal for many years. I think part of that is like this desire to have a material that really pushes back. So this sort of reciprocity, this push and pull of you know, I pound you with a hammer and then you dent just a little bit. You know, I don't want something that's gonna give it up too easily. I've come to terms with that, that I like to swim upstream. Whenever I'm comfortable, I want to find a way to be uncomfortable. And so part of that is essential character, you know, but part of that is that effort to stay creative. The minute you've gotten comfortable, then you're also a little bit complacent. In an effort to kind of always stay creative, I do a lot of travel, a lot of residencies. Um, I do collaborations with other artists in order to always keep my mind fresh and keep me engaged in different ways. And it's different for everyone, but for me, that's a counterbalance to you know working in the studio when you have uh, when you have all that safety equipment on. In the end, it's a really solo experience. It, it's not very collaborative, especially in metalworking. You're you're in the earmuffs, you're in the glasses, you're in the welding helmet. You spend um, a, a fair amount of time like alone and solitary between you and the material. Uh, so doing the collaborations, doing the travel is a counterbalance to that, being able to have an extremely social, experimental, kind of open and free way of working. The best part the part that keeps me waking up and 
drinking enough coffee to go out and be uh, be in these kind of really hard shop spaces and, and work in this hard material is uh, kind of the challenge, right? The challenge, the discovery, and the success of each piece. Success is getting to do it again tomorrow. And that's it. So as long as you're able to make it happen, uh, able to continue doing the projects that you want to do, you're successful. I think there's a number of different levels of disillusionment you can hit um, as you're working through your career. One is the concept of making it because, well, then what, right? It's almost like retirement. I mean, that sounds awful to me.